What's going on YouTube? It's Otto. Today I want to take a few minutes to talk about Gatewalkers a few days after launch. Now, I have finally had some time to really put some hours into the game and I want to talk about my overall experience when I made my first Before You Buy video. A lot of that influence came from me having a positive experience with the playtests and I thought that the game would be enjoyable. And it is to some degree, but there are some things they need to improve on. Before we get into that, I want to mention that there is a demo out. I would highly recommend downloading and trying that before you consider buying the game. Now, let's start with the first area that I really think that they should improve on sooner than later, and that is the combat. Now, there are some things I will mention. The good is that the initial impressions feels good. It feels similar to the playtests. You have three different weapons and they all feel pretty different from one another. But as you start unlocking new weapons, you start realizing that they literally have just reused skills uh, for the most part, except for one. And it just doesn't feel good. Two examples would be the one handed hammer versus two handed hammer and the dark and crystal scythes. They are exactly the same when it comes to the two main skills. And then they change the third skill and how that works and to me this is just not enough they need to do more to diversify these weapons make them feel different from one another give us a reason to want to unlock them now this actually ties into my second point where i think they need to rework how progression works overall now first i would like to say that i think that they should bring combos into the game a little bit sooner this would help make the combat feel a little different as you finally are starting to be able to use these elements um, to combo with a friend or even by yourself. I think this would help the overall combat experience feel a little better. Now, with that being said, I think they need to do something in regards to how weapons are unlocked or acquired. There is a currently there is a progress point system and I like the system, but when it costs 20 points to unlock a T3 weapon, and I end up not liking it, and then I spend another 20 points to unlock another weapon, and I end up not liking it, and I spend another 20 points. You, you, get the, you get the idea here, right? It not, one, not only feels like I've wasted my time, but two, it makes the game feel like it's just unrewarding. Now, I do understand that they want to set limits, and they want to uh, allow you to slowly unlock things, and I get that, but I think there could be one big solution to this with the progression. They have a training room with dummies in the guild. They should allow us to try all weapons and all armor in that training room. I think that would be the perfect solution for this issue. I think that and then working on changing how weapons work would make a big difference to the game. Like if I could sit there and test out a weapon and be like oh dude i really like this two-handed sword right even if i don't like the one-handed sword or whatever comes prior to that i know that hey this is something i want to work towards and it's going to give me purpose it's going to give me a reason to play and keep grinding right but right now it, it's going to cost me like 60 points to unlock it and then i don't even know what i'm getting myself into at that point i just feel that it would help uh the player not feel like they've lost time in progress allowing this training area with that being said i want to talk about the last category which is audio now this is something that the community in general so far can agree on uh it's terrible <laughs> I, I hate to be so blunt i i really had high hopes for the game based on my positive experience with the play tests and like i said in my other videos i'm bored right now i have no games to play only two games i'm looking forward to is dark and darker and diablo 4 right now and we're weeks away from both of those well dark and darker and months away from diablo 4 so i gotta find something to keep me occupied and i was hoping this game would be it i do have high hopes for the game because the devs have paid a lot of attention to everything for the most part and they've acted on a lot of things a lot of issues a lot of bugs pretty quickly so hopefully they see this video and they can at least consider some of the things i've mentioned hopefully you have watched to this point of this video and you've taken in some knowledge and some information and that will help you decide on whether or not you should buy this game or not but with all that being said until next time auto out